Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I'm saying this in my deeply quiet and slightly sensual voice because, um, because I generally don't know, I just kind of did it. Hello, how are you all doing today? <laughs> hope you're doing well. We were playing some Yakuza, as you can see by possibly some of the health and the levels down there and the fact we have a fourth party member. I have been a little busy off camera. Um, I spent a day uh, watching Better Call Saul and uh, grinding. So, uh, that was a good idea. I didn't do the management game. I was planning to do the management game Sunday, but I kind of forgot. Um, but yeah, yeah so let's run to a, uh, let's run to a, uh, wait. Oh yeah, so I accidentally spent a lot of money, um, which is why I should have done the management game. I was trying to like build equipment and I didn't realize building equipment costs money at certain points. So I was like, cool. No, I, I built like a jacket for, uh, for Ichiban and it was like, so again, it says it was a hundred thousand yen after I was like, hundred thousand. I was like, I didn't pay that. And then I saw that I had, I had since uh, spent all my money. So um, yeah, that that thing did cost seven thousand. Um, <laughs> but I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing well. I am having a very productive day today, and by that I mean is uh, I have a lot of shit to do today. Uh, so we're gonna try and get this. So from now on, for like the Yakuza streams for Mondays and Wednesdays, we gotta keep these to two hours specifically. Um, but that I means it's to my time. We gotta end it. But uh, that's the only like announcement I have recently. Um, yeah. Had a nice weekend. But, uh, here we go. Alright, let's go. Oh, fucking god. I'm trying to avoid a fight. It's like, my characters are also fucking low health. It's fine. You can see some of the shit we got. Uh, yeah, so we got her now. She's, uh, she, you get her from the mansion game. Uh, she has, I made her the class dealer. Which means she's got some weird fucking shit. Um, oh, I didn't even see this. Darts airstrike is kind of fun. You throw it in the air and it hits everyone. She's generally a pretty good character. Yeah, shit's good. Uh, and then I changed out Psycho. Uh, from, she was, uh, I think, Hostess before. I changed her to Host, or not to Host, to, um, uh, to Idol, because apparently that's the, the better healer. But because now that we don't have Nanba, uh, this is going to be our best bet here. Let's see, okay. This is a restaurant. This is the Pocket Cafe. That's the same thing. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Could you do anything, please? Uh, that heals enough. Okay, and then we're going to go do the story. It's been a while since we did the story. If you want to recap, there is always the VODs on my YouTube channel. That you can go check out if you want to. Um, they're fun. It's been a while since we streamed this, because we didn't stream it uh, last week because I needed to grind, and I didn't have any time to grind. Um, which I hope that's not going to be a constant thing. I Probably every Saturday, I'll probably boot up this game and just kind of grind it. Just to, you know, do a little bit of that. Um... Part of me was thinking about, like, streaming it on Saturday and uh, grinding then. But I was like, ah, I don't really want to stream, like, grinding. It's kind of whatever. Um, I do have some ideas for Saturday streams. But I'm not going to reveal what those are until um, until after the debut. Also, still don't know when that's happening. Um, I need to write a script uh, sometime soon. And I got an idea for the debut video. 
and then I gotta get the model, and then that's, or and then I gotta get one of my friends to do some 3D, or some, some, some things, and then that's kind of it. Everything will be fine from there. <laughs> yeah, let's go find Nanba at the homeless place. That's his only home right now. Oh, Frosty. Oh, these guys are oh, like level 12 around here. Okay, I'm just gonna put on auto battle. I'm, I'm so used to auto battle because literally all I did uh, when I was grinding the other day. <laughs> just like, fuck it, left trigger. All right, good. Uh, and just, like I said, watching Better Call Saul. Ooh, cutscene. He's not gonna be there, is he? Hey. This is no. Oh, God. <clears throat> Bow in my throat. Shit. This is no place to bring a proper lady, you know. Chief. What happened to Nanba, Ichiban? Excuse me. Well, he got himself into some trouble, so we'd like to take a look at his stuff. You're just going to dig through your friend's stuff without his permission? It's our only hope of saving him. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> I see. I won't stop you then. It's been a while since I did the voices, so I don't remember. I should have probably watched uh, an, an episode of my VODs before I did this so I can remember what's happening. We'll leave, we'll leave as soon as we're done so I can remember how the voices are. Um, I do know what's happening in the story. Nanba apparently was just trying to figure out who killed his brother or if they killed his brother, and it was possibly the Gumi Jewel um, who are printing counterfeit bills. Man, kind of nostalgic coming back here. Here it is. Uh, what's that smell? Some combination of sweat and mold? Okay. Yeah, it reeks in here. Seems that might help us find where he is. Hey. Hey, what about in there? <laughs> A small box. Out of the 20 boxes around. That, there's a laptop on it. Oh, fuck. He was holding out. A laptop? Not exactly a common homeless commodity. <laughs> I'd say that's right on the money. Wait. Oh, shit. Really? How do you use this thing? What are you typing? I'm doing some searches that'll come through the whole hard drive. Mm -hmm. Searches? Yeah. If the search gets a hit, we'll check out the file. Mm. Uh, a, a hit? Cosk is so fucking stupid. Just shut up and watch, would you? <laughs> I'm not much of a computer guy myself. Let's let her handle this one. Sachan, you know computers and stuff? Well, I did my club's book, so I earned, I learned enough. Am I, and I'm fine. But fuck, am I finally earning some respect around here? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I mean, I feel like she already has everyone's respect because she's like, I don't know. She's kind of, how to describe it? She's kind of a boss bitch. Like, she kind of... She kind of pushes everyone around a little bit. It's kind of funny. Uh, this one's suspicious. In Digital Incident Draft version 2. Yeah, let's see what's in that one. Hey, you know how to use computers too? Well, I clearly know more than you. <laughs> you traitor! Was this an article he was writing for a magazine? It was written by Shochi Akiba. Mm. Shochi Akiba. That's Namba's brother. Yeah, uh, mysterious fake money emerges in Jincho. The truth behind the rumors? It's just, a, oh, what are the counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors? Okay, I was like, where's the text? Because all it's white on white. Yo. With a slight black outline. It's a little difficult. Uh, check it out. Since the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago, he really did his homework on all these documents. Now his brother's pretty good. Hey, yeah. hey is this true? I said the fake money can be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. That would be Okib or Ogibo. Oh, Og Ogib. Right, he stopped with the political party. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, Yokohama Okikubo's district, but it doesn't seem like it would go all the way up to him. God damn it. That word is going to just elude me this entire stream, isn't it? Uh, counterfeit money ended up in party veteran Ok pocket. Yep, that one. You could tell. God damn it. Why is everyone saying it? Drinking your stamina, man. I probably should. Okay. Part of what what even is like a, those things exist in real life, don't they? They're just like a like an energy drink or some shit. He's almost eighty years old, making him the oldest member of CLP. How did I do his voice before? I can't remember. Though people say the prime minister is just Okibe's yes man, he's got major political clout. Sounds like some kind of fixer. Mm. Sounds shady as hell to me. Actually, he's never dragged into anything scandalous over his years. Unlike most of the big politicians, that's probably how he's stuck around so long. To be honest. But theoretically, if the fake money is going to Okikubu, God damn it! Oh, I, can they say it's someone else? Can they say Yokota? It's Yukata. Whatever the fuck it is, the Yucatan Peninsula. It's that. Does that mean? Does that mean he's linked to the Gomi Jewel and the purple-haired harpy? Mm. That's a weird way to describe her. Yeah, many energy drink. Okay, and I will not drink it. I refuse energy drinks. I refuse these bonds of gamerism that draw me to energy drinks and G Fuel. I 
cast off these shackles like they were um, uh, sins off my back. I don't know. Um, listen, I, I can try my hardest to become uh, profound, but um, it's not going to do as well as when I say horse cock. It's just going to not going to hit the same thing. Yes, I'm ignoring the story right now. If I, start, I don't think there's much of a smoking gun in here. So all this business about Okibu being involved is just unsubstantial rumors. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be libelous. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Why are the hard words today? What the fuck happened? And probably would, and would probably write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know the fake money exists. Apparently drinking three cups of coffee isn't bad for you. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, so you can do that. Why is it specifically three? Right, which means we have to assume there's some kernels of truth in this article. But even with that being said, it's kind of a stretch to connect Okibu to the counterfeiting. I see. Something just made sense. What did? Naba knew all about his brother's article from the start of this whole thing. So when he saw the misprinted fake bill that he had on me, he played dumb, but it must have made him jumpy. No doubt. That probably when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it, after all. It was also probably his first sign of hope in a long time. That's gotta be why he lashed out on me like he did. Damn. Damn it. Damn, I thought he liked me. <laughs> Costco's like, I, I, thought, I, I thought he liked me. <laughs> Finding out, it's like, nah, bitch, you just got a fake bill and I'm into that shit. <laughs> uh, so that going to a boss still has your bill. Yeah, I'll have to get it back from her next time we meet. You think she'll just hand it back to you? Let's focus, guys. The only thing we learned here. <laughs> God damn it. Just the only thing, <laughs> just like yawn through every fucking. Uh, I want to play like a game. I want to play like Skyrim, like the next Skyrim that comes out. I know that's Elder Scrolls series. Shut the fuck up. It's Skyrim now. Um, we're like every character halfway through yawns through everything. I think it'd be funny. I feel like that'd be interesting. I think the person she wants us to meet is Okifu himself, politician. No way. And we can move now. Look at that glorious hair. Oh god, I've I've missed his hair. It's so good. I just realized I didn't have to eat anything. I could have just came here and got the thing, but it's fine. Shogi, fuck you. Wait, that's not Shogi. It's um It's something else I don't fucking know how to play. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I did one fucking uh part time hero thing earlier, so I wanna turn that in if I can. Uh report. Uh never mind, I did done. You can yawn through the new Saints Row cause oh dear. Oh god, I heard I heard some bad things. Er, okay, let me rephrase that. Oh, wait, do I have money in here? Uh, withdraw money. Oh, shit. No, I don't. Um, all I've seen, so I saw the opening, like, starting thing a while back, and I was like, I don't like that. Um, it didn't really catch my fancy. Um, and then, what is it? I saw, the other thing I saw was just, like, a cut together bit of like I'm assuming the main character was fired from their like the marshal's job and it's just them driving away going like fuck fuck fuckity fuck crap 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 over that and then the, oh, I think there was one that was funny is the for some reason the female voice was like just saying that but the male voice had a bit where it's like fucking horse balls testicles swaying in the goddamn breeze and I was like okay that's actually kind of funny uh but it was just like like, I, I feel like the joke is, like, you're being overly, vi like, uh, what's the word? Vulgar. So you really want to get into it instead of just going, like, fuck, 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 fuck. It's like, then it's just whatever. But if you start describing a bunch of stupid shit, then, then it sounds good. Um, yeah, I was, I've been cautious that game. I honestly, it's a game that I've been cautious of, but I've been, like, kind of like, hey, as long as they paint by numbers, they can probably hit it and be okay. And I don't know. I watched videos of people exploring the open world, and... I keep forgetting how strict, like, open worlds are. Because it, it feels very... It looks very much like a... Um, still like an Xbox 360-ish game. Not in terms of, like, graphics. It looks a little better. But it just looks like an Xbox 360 open world. And there's very little um, you can really do with that. Is that a... That's a really big man. That is a really big... Oh, shit. Um, SOS. Well, that is a fucking huge... Jesus Christ! Okay, fine. Well, Now, here's the first time you're going to sit. Uh, let's see. Man in Pickle. I can get 15,000. That's worth it. Um, but yeah, I did not hear anything good about that. You're the one who's going to step back into an early grave. <laughs> so let's see. I joined a before you went live. I probably was going to. So actually, before I went live, I was playing a game. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. Let's see what we do. Card sharp. Damage depends on the card's number. 
Uh, damage done by throwing a mysterious chip at them. High chance they land a critical hit or Joker's juggling. Damage done by, uh, by juggling several items in the air. The damage spends the items that fall back down. Yeah, so by the way, dealer's thing is all its, it's all random. She does a bunch of random shit. Um, let's actually do card shark. Fuck it. I always speak to that. Perfect. Um, but I was playing a... Ooh, could do good. I was playing a VR game I actually bought um, on Saturday? I think it was Saturday I bought it. Uh, it's a little game called Into the Fucking Radius, and it's amazing. Um, it is probably my favorite VR game in a fucking while. Um, oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. Uh, mostly because it's, I don't know, it gives off like stalker vibes, and I kind of like stalker. Uh, but it also reminds me of like walking around in Fallout 4, so it's pretty good. Uh, smash tap, we need the enemy charmed. And the enemy sounds, let's get the sounds one. But, um, but yeah, in general, Saints Row doesn't sound like, like it's, I think it's funny. I, so, like, paying attention to Saints Row, I think, is really funny to me. Because for about four, like, ever since two, all people have been asking for is more two. But they will never get more two. No one will get, they, they can't now. It's the problem is, like, Saints Row has been, is like the goofy parody of, like, kind of, it's kind of funny, because it's like a parody, a little bit of, um, what do you call it, of Grand Theft Auto, but Grand Theft Auto is a parody of the world, so it's kind of some weird shit. Uh, I heard reviews of that game, VR, uh, VR Soccer, it seems. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's like, I don't know, uh, the only thing that I was, like, the only thing that I've, like, heard about, like, might be bad about it is the fact that, like, uh, there's not very many enemies that are, like, different types, but I've been kind of enjoying it so far. Got like almost four hours in it, and it's it's fun like managing. That's what I like. I like managing games, or not like management is in like, well no, I like those management games. But what I mean is like inventory management, money management, you know, uh, shit like that, like health management, managing your fatigue and shit like that. I like that. I basically like survival games, but I don't like my my. Okay, here's my thing on survival. I don't like um. I know I, I know I'm jumping around topics real fucking hard here, but I don't care. Um, when it comes to all games, I don't want, here's your hunger meter, here's your thirst meter. I like, I like health and stamina, and then being hungry or thirsty decreases your stamina. I think that's the best way to do it. Because I don't like, hey, if you don't fill this meter, you just die. But I like, hey, if you don't, because like, when you're fucking hungry or whatever, you don't have as much stamina. So I like that. It's like, um, what is it? It's, it's like one of my favorite ways. Oh, uh, oh, wow. She's just walking. Um, how Fallout 4 does, uh, rads. I love how they do rads where it's, um, instead of being like, okay, roll a high card, please. You had ace earlier. Now it's just twos. Ace. There we go. Um, but before it was all, um, I can't even remember what rads did in like Fallout 3 in New Vegas. I think they just like hurt you or some shit like that. Um, but in Fallout 4, what it did is actually, it, uh, oh god, wait, now I can't remember. Wait, no, okay, so what I think I remember it doing is it decreases your health, like, your max health and your max AP. It was one or the other. Um, but I like that. I think that's the best way of doing that. Oh, she's my only, like, fucking knife chick, doesn't it? Yeah, she's the only knife chick I have. Ten, that works. Um, but... Like, that's my preferred way of having travel games. I'm sick of, me like, stupid, like, meters. Just, like, give me the two ones I need, and then we'll figure it out from there, all right? That works the best for me. I'm just going to literally just have them beat the shit out of him now. Oh, he's going for it. But, um, man, this guy just does not want to die. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's my best way of, like, doing that. Well, you're either going to get casual or hardcore survival games, basically. Um... I don't like hardcore survival games. I know, like, or it depends. Like, my my idea of, like, hardcore survival is, like, playing Fallout 4 in survival mode. I think that's probably, like, one of the best, like, games out there. And that's honestly, if I ever go back to Fallout 4, because it's been a, I've, I played a shit ton of Fallout 4. It's probably my favorite, or one of my, like, top five favorite games. But, uh, I will, if I go back to it, I have to play it in survival. Because I've just, I've just played it so much, it's not worth it for me to play, like, non-survival anymore. Even hardcore, I'm like, eh, whatever. But I've heard, like, the game is, like, ten times better if you play it on Survivors. Survival, so I'm like, okay. Part of me really wants to do that. Um, part of me, actually, so... Um, actually, no, I won't talk about that. I'll talk about that later. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, all... So, let me talk, get back to Saints Row, because we were talking about that a second ago. All Saints Row needs to do is just be Saints Row 2. And people think that's, like, hard. 
And it's it's hard because Saints Row 2 is a lot better written. But people are like, oh, Saints Row 2 is really goofy. And when people people don't understand about Saints Row 2. Um, so let me let me actually let me start this off with I've never played the game, but I've seen a lot of people play it. And I can kinda get the I've I've heard a lot of arguments about it, and I can I can kinda get what they're saying. Which is um the thing about Saints Row 2 is that yes it is goofy. That is that is an essence of Saints Row. It is Saints Row is goofy. That is that is the thing. It is not serious, it is goofy. But Saints Row 2 is the one that understands when to be goofy and when to be serious. Cause there is there you should play Stalker 1 for late Star but heavy combo. Oh, I probably should. I have one of the Stalker games, but I just never like really got into it. I don't know what it was. I think it's because uh, at the time I didn't want to play Strava, I wanted to play a shooting bang bang game. And that's like kind of a shooting bang bang game sometimes. Um, but basically there is okay so this is like i guess a little spoiler but since it's been out for a while there is actually i can, I can keep it vague there is like goofy scenes where it's like oh you know you're running through some mines you know fighting some people doing some stupid shit whatever then there's a scene where like the new kid that joined your gang who you feel kind of like like not like father figure of but like you're like kind of want to take care of gets taken by the rival gang and they fucking uh, hook him up to the back of their truck and drag him through the street. And at the end of it, when you finally stop the car, you're up to him, and there's a very sad scene. And that's the shit that breaks it. That's the shit that makes it go, oh, right, yeah. That's why we're doing this. It was one of those real emotional rides. And I remember wanting to see it again. It was a boy meets girl movie. You're, uh, what was it? My pancreas wants to scream. Something what the fuck that? Is it I want to eat your pancreas? Does the hero have a snuff? <laughs> oh, that's not the conversation. That's fine with me. Um, I'm playing two. Yeah, the problem is, is like two is really hard to get a hold of now. At least on PC. I have an Xbox copy somewhere, um, but I've never really sat down and played it. Um, but Saints Row Three. Saints Row Three was like the one that really like put it back on the map. I mean, I, th I think Saints Row Three was popular. I can't really remember. But um, Saints Row Three. It's still good. It's like, it's a good game. It's lacking a little bit of those serious moments from Saints Row 2. But it's not, like, overly wacky. Like, it kind of hits well. It, it did well for what it was, basically. For getting people into Saints Row 3. Because I'm sure most people that play Saints Row started at Saints Row 3 at this point. God damn it. I didn't want to do this. Wait, no. We, we do want to do this. This is a good fucking one. This has an Easter egg in it. It's great. Foreigner, man. Since you speak in. <laughs> Would you tell me how to get to the station? Fast times at Onibara. Oh shit. It's English. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the best thing about the dub. That line, the head turn, and that quick thumbs up is only in the English dub, only in the fucking English dub, does he turn to the camera and give a thumbs up. The only... I'll make something up. That's my favorite one. Uh, sorry, my English no good? <laughs> Whoa, what? I said, sorry, my English no good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone to brush up on their English. <laughs> this is one of the best side quests. Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. <laughs> Believe in yourself. You heard him. Believe in yourself, guys. Right. Thank you. You are welcome. I love him. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> this that's that is literally the best part of the dub. That is the best part. Oh, the fish meme, exactly. How do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Which comes to the rescue. You repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? Fuck no. <laughs> you need to study. So I started going here. To I fuck. We had the name of it a second ago. Akiyabara, some shit. Onobara, that's the one. It's vocational schools. I don't really know what a vocational school is. I think, is that you just, you learn language there? And guess how many certs I've racked up? 50. 50? 
For real? That's crazy. I have like none. <laughs> you gotta change, <laughs> <that>, man. <sighs> Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. You're the only one with I can't. I have three idiots that follow me everywhere. I can't be an individual. That's the entire point of this game. What for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only. They offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. We'll think about it. You learn a lot of things. I've heard so, yeah. Personality, don't you? Oh, you can upgrade your personality that way. That way, sure. Great. Then let's get you signed up right away. Um. Uh, okay. Can I not? Nope, I, okay, shit, I kind of have, like, th a specific time meeting with the, the boss of the fucking Korean Mafia, who's like, you don't show up, we'll kill everyone. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna learn English instead. That, that is a good trade-off, you know, hey, a lot of people die, probably us, probably Nanba, but hey, at least we'll know how to say horse cock. Um, I've used that joke twice already, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... Oh, god damn it. He's a fucking idiot, too. Shit. We're both dumb as fuck. I spit all over myself. I forget when I, like, yell. I spit all over my... Yup. Wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. It was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This guy is so fucking cringe. He is so fucking cringe. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Out. <sighs> You're not helping. World record for established character relations, exactly. God damn it. Hobbyist. God damn it. Where's Pocket Circuit? We're here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Where's Pocket Circuit in this game? I never thought to think about that. Your dragon cart instead, right? I think that's it. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is what we emphasize here is I'm starting to skip things. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of Motherfucker, the I'm worried if Kasuga figures out what a personality is. Do you know how powerful he could be if he understood anything? Why is there a guy run giant cart really? Oh shit, that's awesome! Can you just I didn't fucking know that. I, yeah, we haven't gotten the dragon cart yet. Uh, I I the gist of it. Not gonna do that today because I want to get some more story. I want to finish this chapter at least, and then we can fuck around some more um, later, Excellent. tomorrow. Not tomorrow. When Wednesday. When are we streaming this game next? I forget. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. <laughs> there we go. Fuck you. We're gonna go talk to the Gomi Jewel. Um, I thought you were gonna do your. He's right. I ought to speak with the reception. God damn it! Are you kidding me? Is this motherfucker actually like, God damn, we got, come on, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to lose this girl, can you just like be nicer to, literally, are you making, are you like literally trying to make, you're, hang on, what's like a forced wingman, I don't know, a fucking, I guess like a parachute man, could you, th or like a skydive man, could you th I don't know, he's basically like forcing me to be his wingman right now. Sure. I have no other choice. The facility is all about developing this personality. Buying exams will improve different facets of Picasso's personality. In the free trial exam, you have to pay. Uh, after the free trial exam, you'll have to pay for the free exam fee. Okay. Exam like sports tier two. What the fuck? This will certify that you have sufficient knowledge of sports and its history throughout. Oh, fuck. I don't know a single thing about sports. Um. Golf is played on a course in which golfer's goal is to hit the ball into a hole after a few strokes possible. Each course has a present stroke count that the golfer is expected to meet for hole. Reaching the hole is the exact number of present strokes called par. While doing one stroke below par is called birdie. What's the term for a hole in three strokes? Uh, albatross, I think. Marathon is a track and field event that requires running distance of what is the, which of the following event that became the origin? Uh, the Battle of Marathon, right? Yeah, something like that. Skiing is important, which the skiers fuck slides down a snowy slope on a pair of skis. Aside from the components, that's skiers' skis feet. A pair of tools keep them stable. Poles. I've done skiing. I like skiing. 
Uh, baseball is a team sport in which competing teams switch between defense and defense. Pitcher on the defense goals will throw a ball in the, such a way that the batter the defense strikes out. This is known as a breaking ball, which is following is not a type of breaking ball. What? Uh, a slow ball. A, vo a volley. A volley. There we go. A triathlon is completed by consecutively overcoming three different events while competing for the fastest overall time. Which of the following events is not part of the triathlon? Shit. Cross country? Cross country. That's like a, that's like what a triathlon is. It is cross country, right? Oh, I definitely failed. Oh, I love his face. Okay, this is worth it. Did I pass? Okay, apparently I did it. I didn't realize this is actually test of my own knowledge. If so, I'm really fucked. Um, I wish they did that whenever I passed. <laughs> Be cool. Albatross. I got them all right. Albatross, Battle Marathon, Poles, Volley, and Cross Country. Boom! I know sports. I'm going to start my sports co podcast tomorrow. It's going to be called um, uh, um, Playing With Balls. Up. There we go. Thanks That's what it is. There you go. Ooh. Free sports. I'm sure there's one. I know of one called First Balls in Your Ear. For some reason. We're going to talk about sports. I don't know what sports exist. I, I literally... I don't watch sports. What did you think of your lesson, I used to. I like soccer, but like I don't really watch it. I'd rather really like play it. And baseball is pretty cool, but I'd rather play. like. I like my problem with like watching sports is I'd rather play it. It's ironically the opposite of uh, the joke of like, why would you watch streamer? Why don't you play the game? And it's like, well, sometimes I want to watch the game. Sometimes I don't want to play it. But most most like sports, I'd rather just play than watch. Except for football, I don't want to touch that shit. The amount of like concussion shit with football, I'm like, nope, I'm good, don't need it. I know I'm American, I'm supposed to like it, but. I know I do. Okay, you made your point. Professors are pulled from a per test pool, which can make it hard to look shit up, and the game prevents pausing. But if I recall, the game forces pause you tab out. Also, these will get hard. Good to know. Please let me know when you. Sure. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it, can you shut the fuck up? I want to stop the Gobi Jewel. Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. Oh my god. Sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? Oh my fucking god. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave the movies unless they hybrid, of course. Actually, so uh it depends on certain things. I really like so actually I'll give a shit out so a shit out fuck. A shout out to one of my favorite channels. Which is a channel called uh, Manager Nerd. I've not watched them in a little bit, but I like them to see them like talk about like new games that come out. Um, but also, he is the biggest fucking history nerd I know. Uh, one of my favorite series by him is the. Um... Okay, hang on. Let me finish this first. Anyways, who say so? All right. <laughs> yeah, she wants nothing of him. Um, but uh, is the. Okay, yeah, I get it. I can go to vacation school. Um, is his Romance of the Three Kingdoms, uh, or it's not Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's called um, Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough. Cause he just literally goes to like the whole story of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and it's fucking great. I love it. Um, also, he does weird Fallout challenges, so I really like that. Um, who MMA shooter? No, it's uh, was it? Their name was Many a True Nerd. They're really cool. Um, that's a lot of people. A lot of those people are chefs. Oh shit, they're actually, uh, kind of strong. This is a problem. Oh yeah, you're almost dead. Uh, I didn't think about that. You know what? Auto battle, fuck it. I forgot, she can heal herself somehow. She's got a fucking massage thing that she can use on her shoulders. Stamina next. Yeah, I kind of forgot to eat. Um, oh wow, they just literally healed the fuck out of her. Um... Yeah, how you like in Gambler, by the way? It's pretty good. Oh, I forget I got to mash buttons. <laughs> but Gambler's pretty good. It's, uh, I mean, as someone who likes a lot of roguelikes, I feel like I have to like Gambler. Salmon on a Giri, let's go. It did nothing. I have, like, no, like, healing items. I use so many of them grinding. And I used all my money uh, upgrading. So, massage thing. I don't know what else to call it, man. Massage wand, I guess. I don't, I don't want to think about it. Garlic. Wait, did I just hand? Did you wait? Okay, no. We're gonna turn off auto battle because it is not a good idea. There we go. All right, I don't trust the motherfuckers auto battle anymore. 
There we go. Beat him up. That's a not kill. Fuck. But, um, but yeah, I like history a lot. I think it's the only reason why I could get uh, one of those questions, which is the uh, the thing about Marathon. Yeah, it was the the distance was, um, it was like, it was, I don't know, it was like Roman or Greek or something. It was probably Roman. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, there was the Battle of Marathon. And there was like one motherfucker who's like the, a courier that was trying to get like a message to like the other side or something like that. And then ran the whole marathon. And then as soon as he got there, he died. <laughs> it was like... Fuck! I'm pretty sure you died after. Uh, the one downside of Gambler is that its best weapon is actually is acquired through, you know, gambling. Oh shit, so there's a casino in that bathroom there. There's a casino? Oh shit. That's fucking awesome. Wait, hang on, is there legit a casino? I will- I will shut the entire fucking go save us from the Korean Mafia and the- and the entire stream to play nothing but Blackjack. I hope you know this. You should know this. I hope you do. I fucking love Blackjack. Is that a marathon reference? <laughs> a reference to Bungie's... <laughs> oh, that's what it is. It was Bungie's uh, shooter marathon. That was the... Uh... <laughs> that's what started the marathon thing, right? Yeah, there was no marathons until then. And, um... Probably, like, 1998. I mean, that's what I'm guessing when that game came out. It's probably, like, 2001 or some shit. I don't remember when marathon came out. I never fucking played it. It's on the Mac. Why do I play a game on a Mac? Actually, I used to play games on Mac. Um, but I didn't own a Mac. Barred it. Wait, so this is. Hang on a second. Is this actually a fucking. Yo. Let's see what this is. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Hmm. hmm. Nope. Those threads won't, just won't cut it. There's a dress code, you see. Huh? A dress code? What? To take a leak? Oh. I'll have you know. This is no ordinary bathroom. But if you're here to simply do your business, go right ahead. But I will say, people who can keep up the trends really feel the release. Oh well. Come back when you have more style. Mm. The hell was that about? I don't really get it, but maybe if I was a head turn, I can make something happen here. Style level four. Okay. Good to know that there is that here, but we have to get stylish. I'm going to loot these because it's fun. Get fashion check, nerd. <sighs> I love I love weird stats. I like style as a stat. I was really excited for, what is it, the stat cool in uh, Cyberpunk, but I don't think that really got, like, an interesting thing. I don't know. I can't remember if the stats ever got used in gameplay. Um in like speech check and shit like that in um in ya or not in Yakuza in uh in Cyberpunk. I never played it that far, I think. Um I did now I'm thinking about stats, you got me thinking about fucking Disco Elysium again. Cause I actually so I tell you this uh recently my internet just went out. Uh I don't know why the internet just went out from like it was like twelve it was like midnight to fucking ten AM. And I stayed up till two trying to like be like, will it come back? Oh I scared that man. Oh he's fucking <laughs> ah, who's ready to eat? The fucking is like, I'm not getting. <laughs> We're like cannibals. <laughs> We're gonna like cook them up and eat them. That random dude. Um, but uh, so I played Disco Elysium again, and I fucking love Disco Elysium. It is probably still in my. T I, I should make like a top five list of games that I like. Um, no, I shouldn't. Um, I don't know why I want to do that. I feel like I should, but I shouldn't because top five lists are sometimes stupid. What do you sell? I'm inside you. Not really what I want to do. Uh, you sell Tranquility Bat. Oh, shit. You're expensive as absolute fuck. Uh, ooh, Master Safe. The Gothic Microphone. Oh, shit. That's so fucking expensive. Oh, my God. Okay. We uh we need some uh some fucking... <gasps> safe, 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 safe. Give me a... Give me give, 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 give. Rest of the hammer. Oh wait, is that good for uh for this boy here? Steel hammer, rusted. No, it's actually a lot worse. Never mind. I should have come here earlier. Uh, let's see. Over here, what the fuck is? Ooh, hey, I like this place. Oh, we we're like, should I just run like legit Chinatown? I didn't even fucking think about that. <sighs> Top five games I brain gas them to. <laughs> so stupid. High and sour, huh? Pretty fancy spot. Think they'll treat us to a meal? <laughs> If that was the case, you wouldn't even pass the dress code. Style checked in uh, 10 minutes apart. Huh? Why? Besides, it says right there on the door, no Yakuza or ex-Yakuza allowed. For real? Seriously? It was a joke, dummy. But we're not here to eat, regardless. Don't tease. I never got to come to these kinds of places. Listen. What about me, though? Would my clothes pass? Eh, I'd say you're in the same boat as Ichiban. 
I knew I should have changed. As I was saying, we're not here to eat. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Shall we then? I love like, yeah, or Ichiban's like, how would I not pass dress code? Motherfucker, you've been shot in that shirt. Your blood's still on it. You fucking slept in garbage in that shirt. Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. <laughs> He's not even that. He got fired. Fancy restaurants, that's all. <laughs> He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food. I agree place. with that. Fuck fancy oh, restaurants. That's so gross. Also true. <laughs> right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Oh, hey. Well, we weren't late, so we don't get enough. I like him. I hope he becomes and I part wasn't of us. Expecting one. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. <laughs> And who is them, by the way? Uh, probably like all of the heads of the fucking mafias. They're all gonna chop us up in little bits. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. Probably. have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. I'm holding you to that. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's the guy that shot at us. But now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Broken Road's coming in 2023. That looks extremely inspired by Disco, but set in Australia. Eh. I'm good. I kind of like Disco's weird French shit. Here we go. I don't know why. It fits more with it, I think. I also just love its music so much. Hello. Oh, yeah. By the way, our fourth party member, the girl from the management game, will never show up. Oh shit, my package got delivered. Oh yeah, I bought a new link cable for my Oculus because my other one broke. How you doing? <laughs> yep, it's all the heads. I told you it would be all the heads. And... I fucking knew it. Who else would it be? And the hot girl, who I keep forgetting the name of. And then the awesome dude with the fucking polynarif haircut. Or the, I guess, is that Guile's hair? I don't know. What Same thing. Old guy? Watch it. That's when you hate Hoshiro. The same with your clan chairman. Oh yeah, she didn't get to meet them. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. The big three. The EG three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Well, we have grenades, so just. Problem solved. Tell us what the hell is going on here. It's funny. This is that Ichiban calls this like an hour into the game. Does he really? I didn't even fucking realize. Okay, that was that was the end of that chapter. Boom, did it. All I had to do was go there, and that could end of the chapter. Fuck. Well, boom, we finished one chapter today. Now we're on eight. Bleach to black. I don't think. Oh, we're gonna feel fucking Please. bleach Japan. Shit. Hey, aren't these three <laughs> supposed to be fighting a war? Uh. Supposed to be. <laughs> kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more be like funny if the agent three were actually all chummy with each other and went out to lunch on Wednesday. <laughs> so that's really a thing. We meet only once a year, unless there is a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. <laughs> the men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. The Among Turks been raided. Yeah, no, that threw me for a loop when I did New Game Plus. Oh shit, okay. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. Great. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. <laughs> so then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway. that'd be stupid. Go fish. <laughs> I really, I, I, that should really be the show here. Just everyone's like, no, that would be idiotic. Do you have any threes? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. There's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Uno. Prisoner. <laughs> <It's laughs> like an uninvited guest. <laughs> Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't. That's all. <laughs> so you're going to sit here and do nothing. 
just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. <laughs> every, every, every one of these should be broken up by a different card game being played. <laughs> Firm against outside pressure. pressure. Blackjack. After the end of its dictatorship. That's not perfect, but it's the best solution we You don't say blackjack on blackjack. What am I saying? Actually, do you? I generally don't know. I've never really played like in person blackjack because I, I, I don't. I, I like the digital card games. They're fun. I don't like actually gamble. The most I've the most I've like gotten close to gambling is playing Tower Unite and doing the blackjack on that. Post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jinjo. Mm. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for the dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost? Became the Yokohama Liuman. <laughs> they were driven out of Chinatown and into Ijincho. But the Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. Ah, so there was a war already. The gutters practically ran with Liuman and Seryu blood. <laughs> Damn, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor. <laughs> you don't understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smart ass. Oh, hey, that's my bill. If you want to understand the fake money. <laughs> the Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. Okay, so they all literally just hang out. The Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? <laughs> Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Ma oh god, the this floor. is... They are... The the <laughs> Jesus. Keeps all the profit. Okay, yes, yeah, so they actually are. You're right. They are just fucking friends. Calm down. You're jumping to conclusions. <laughs> because I'm pissed off right now. First, I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Eating Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war. Tell me. Why should I calm down? God, his voice actor is so fucking good. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this. <laughs> no, because we're not the final destination of the fake yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Okay, but who the fuck is that? I keep forgetting. I saw his name in an article. He's some the Citizens Liberal Party, dude. Party. Uh, all three of you are working together to support him politically. Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <laughs> Fine. On with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liuman boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For How is that like At the time, Ogikubo not uh, believable? Government. He saw the fights breaking out between the longest I was like, oh, a politician committing federal crimes? How could that happen? <laughs> understood it was, in essence, a <laughs> that happened all the time over here in America. Solutions to stop the bloodshed. <sighs> solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which, in this case, is, yes, fake money. <sighs> Kubo split the roles up even. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. Makes sense, makes sense. The Liuman would import special paper. The Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogi Kubo know the counterfeit? And the Goma George is there. He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. <laughs> Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. Great. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? <laughs> Not the 
Seiryu clan or at this point, do you even need to like counterfeit no bills? Can't you just like go into the bank numbers and just boopity boop number higher? And that does it. Okay, but why Can you do that? I know nothing about this. I should know more about this. I'm a computer virus. I just steal things. But, you know. Blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one. Wait, who is this voice actor? Hang on a second. Heard blink of the eye, and now I'm starting to get a little fishy about it. Is he fucking voiced by, uh... Oh god, what's his name? It's not that Sheriff or like Sergeant. Hang on. Shepherd. No, fucking hang on a second. Safer, right? Uh well, that was just a side uh, effect of what he really M W two to squash every attempt by the Seryu to drive uh, out. The no, it was Shepherd. Oh wow, Shepherd. Uh, Shepherd. Shepherd M W two. I bet that worked out great for the Leo Marlin. Voice. Lance Harris. You're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liuman's home. And there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, <laughs> but with low crime. The first, first gray, gray zone. zone. And now we get into fucking clan that shit. That. Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. That wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally... Okay, yeah, he's not in a, He's water. not in this. Only Kubo oh, he's that him. fucking guy? He kept Jesus. It out police reports. That kept us I, you learn something every day when you mistake so people for wrong people and then you look up the things. <laughs> All while we kept our honor. This Ogi Kubo's a pretty shrewd guy. I probably should have paid attention to any of that, but I decided not to because I'm, uh, I'm bored. <laughs> Do you understand now how we benefit from it? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> and my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komijo was saved by the Ijincho Gray Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. <laughs> Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. Oh, wait, really? Fuck. The time the Jingon Mafia got crushed. Some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomon. That makes sense. You started fighting them? Not outright. Okikubo stepped in. Right before a real So where the fuck is Okikubo now if there's a real war starting? That we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? Right, that makes sense. In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. <laughs> it became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Leomon. So that's the origin story behind the EG3. <laughs> Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in time. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. Uh, is there term limits in Japan for this shit? to the city he moved up in the world. or is he like a mayor or whatever and there are worse ways to climb the ladder but i can't condone it i don't know Still anything about japanese politics because why really? would i so you would i barely know enough about my own politics the methods of flawed what about the police themselves what about their alliance with all the yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war japan light and dark joined hands to rebuild mm. and that's how we got where we are today. Uh, uh, I can't Jesus. deny the ends justify the means. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, though the end is the fucking war that's happening outside right now. What happened. Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? Are you gonna tell us to stop the war? Or just to leave? Are you gonna do to 
Ah, vai lá, cria lá. Your friends and Ambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bill. Your privacy. Right. But not the bit where you spy on everyone. All right, cool. Digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself. And we have no idea where he is. Okay, well, you showed him. <laughs> we must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? Are you looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kazuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. Huh? But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Oh, great. Fucking... You can't do that to Nanjan. <laughs> sure is tempting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think about it. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. I definitely think about it. I'm very curious. You do realize if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. <laughs> yeah, that would suck for you. <laughs> very honest. I mean, honest. With less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan. And okay, well, the Tojo Omi clan's like destroyed, and the Omi so Alliance see, is kind of really big, so I guess it's people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone. You're one of them, Kasuga -kun. It's a Jenga tower corruption, pretty much. And it's literally built that way on purpose. The Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I. Owe something to the city? Wait, but I was oh, shot in Camarocho. Like uh, as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have <laughs> How fucking tall are you? <laughs> what the hell? Who's assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. <laughs> Stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga, I don't turn down attractive offers. But no, <laughs> I told my guys to make it tame. But uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. Oh, god damn it. You son of a bitch. Call him off. No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse... Namba will die. But aren't you going to kill him all the same if we bring him to you? That's not entirely. Stop worrying about that. Worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Great. We don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Oh. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this... Is he going to come with us? Party member, party member, party member, party member. Guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. <laughs> I want him to be a party member so badly. I really do. Is he, oh, he is coming with us, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no, he's not coming with us. Talk to, oh, wait, maybe? Want to know where Nambasan is right now, Kaskasa? You already found him? No. All I said is that I have an idea. I can't be certain. But the Okama Liu Mang are searching for him in their own terms. Where's Namba? Yo. So where's Namba, then? There's no indication he's left in, in Jincho. That would be impossible while the gummy jewel was on our sights. Mm -hmm. Could he have gone to the police? I don't think he would risk that. He'd have no way of knowing which officers are sympathetic to the Engine 3. So, where would we go then? Yes. If I were Namdasan, I would think Bleach Japan would be my best bet. Yeah. Those motherfuckers that we beat the shit out of. Bleach Japan? I, I, I get it. It's possible they would be willing to protect him, huh? Before it increases Ramsey down the Bleach Japan office. We haven't sighted him there yet, but it's possible he's already inside. Hey, yeah. 
What should we do, Ichiban? Let's say we catch Namba and bring him here. What do you guys do to him? That's not my call to make. However, if you do nothing, the Lumang assassins will eventually succeed. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll do something or he dies or don't do something. Or I don't do something and he dies or do something and he might not die. Yo. Probably not. You don't have time for this, Casca. If we're going to find him first, we have to take the best bet. So, Where's Bleach Japan's office? The Hakuriori building on Carriage Highway. The Okama branch is on the second floor. Is he coming with? 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 No, I'm assuming because he told me that. that he's not coming with. Nope, he's not. Fuck! Okay, well, let's go find Nanba. And beat up some Bleach Japan motherfuckers. So that's definitely happening. I need more money, but I don't have time to, to do all that right now. Um, I said, I said stop the stream, but I'll say it now. Uh, I, I, my, my schedule's a lot tighter these days now. So we have to... Uh, we get two hours of the stream, and that's about it. Uh, at two, I have to shut off stream and then do some other shit. Uh, let's do this. So we're going to try and get as much done as we can. No more, like, four-hour streams unless it's on, like, a Saturday or something like that. I can do Saturdays, usually. Um, it's kind of why it's kind of why this, uh, what is it? I was kind of relaxing a little bit uh, this weekend, and why our, like, the big stream we did, like, uh, last week was a four hours of roller drum. Which, by the way, that game's still really fucking good. Um, I actually, um, I started playing the Out for Blood campaign, which is just the, the normal levels, but with e every enemy, and it's ten times harder. And I got to the first level finally. The second level I have not gotten through yet. I haven't, I haven't opened up the game in a little bit, but because I've been playing Insta Radius. But that game is so fucking good. Insta Radius and Roller Drone. Both those games are really amazing. I shall talk about this, why not? Um, shit. But uh, my idea is once uh, once the new debut happens, is that guy going to attack? Is he? Okay, there we go. I plan to maybe do some VR streams. So my idea is to do, I mean, I, I said this previously, but uh, my idea is to do like a VR stream like every Saturday, if I can do that. And uh, my biggest idea to like start with is I want to do, I want to start an Iron Man run of Into the Radius and every Saturday we'll like play some more of it and see how that goes. But I think the Iron Man runs like usually is, if you die, you fucking die and you have to restart. And I just want to see how far I can get on that. Um, but that'll be a bit. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll probably, you know, we'll we'll do some streams like, uh, let's do this. We'll do, um, we'll do like H3VR and shit like that. That's the shit I want to do. And then, um, like, Blade and Sorcery and that shit, which I think it'd be fun. I want to do VR. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So now that I'm, like, got a model I can really do that with, I'm kind of excited. Alright, goddamn, there's more motherfuckers. Uh, right, if we walk, I was told if we walk, they can't kill us. I think that's the exact phrase I was told. That's not the exact phrase I was told. It was told if they you can't if you walk they can't see you. But uh, they saw me, so we're running. Fuck it. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I noticed it. Tojo Clean Crest. I don't, I, can, I think we can sell that for shit, but I keep for, I don't remember where we can sell it. Wait, hang on, I'm stupid. Smartphone. This one. Uh, B works. I forget we haven't even explored all the map yet. I would have on my off time, but, like, my... Uh, if they walk, it's hard for them to hear you. Still gotta worry about vision cones. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> I think it's funny in games when, like, enemies can hear you. I don't know why. I think it's, like, it makes sense. But it's just, I feel like this wasn't, been, like, a... I don't know, when did, like, enemies... <laughs> this is a weird question. When did enemies get ears, like... In video games? I feel like it's not been uh, a big thing for a while, but suddenly... I think mean, like the last like few years, enemies have been starting to hear. Um, I could be wrong. I have to think about like Metal Gear Solid and remember if that has fucking uh, enemy uh, ears or not. There we go. Oh, so good. That's such a good fucking attack. Uh, let's do Mega Swing on him and that should kill two of them. I want to say around the time of Slim Shock Thief. Can they hear you in Slim Shock? I actually didn't know that. Um, I don't think I've ever played Thief Thief. I've only played, uh, I only played the shitty remake, uh, and that's about it. Uh, I've been wanting to go back and play, because I hear, oh my god, there's this one person, the guy who makes Gloomwood, who literally is, like, uh, constantly talks about Thief, uh, makes you really want to go play Thief. Or I'll just honestly wait till Gloomwood, um, because Gloomwood's pretty good. I will stream that, probably. I don't know if I'll finish it, because I'm not, I don't know. 
some of those games I'm kind of like, I don't really know if I have the time to like sit down and finish the whole thing up. But, ooh, fuck, goddammit. Um, but I will probably play it. I don't know. I think like everything from New Blood from now on, I'll probably try and get into a stream here and there. Oh, did you guys see? Um, I want to talk about this. I think it's funny. Um, because, uh, you, listen, if I have to listen to console war bullshit because my Twitter line timeline is fucked, you got it too. Um, people are getting upset that they put, uh, fucking, what do you call it? Oh, how did I immediately forget the name of it? Um, what is it? They put, oh god, what is it called? Death Stranding on Game Pass on PC. And people are really, uh, like, some, like, so many people are really upset about it. And I think it's really funny. Because it was already on PC. Why do you care? I don't I don't understand it. Because, like, I don't know. I think it's because, like, well, now Xbox people... It's not even, like, Xbox people. It's, it's like, me on my PC. Like, I don't fucking... I already, I already have it. It's, I have it on Steam. You made it. Who are you? I'm here to kill you. Just as I did that piece of filth Matsuo. Matsuo? Wasn't that guy the Gulma Jewel hired to attack the bar? What was that? Wait, you killed him? On whose orders? No one's. I made the call. Shio Kamajo was bitching that I went too far, but she's just a coward. And I don't take orders from cowards, so I left the Gumi Jewel. My new partnership's already providing much larger returns. And who would that be? Nothing you need to know. Especially since you're not getting past me. <sighs> You'll die like Matsuo did. <laughs> Right, sounds like we'll be walking right over your broken ass pretty soon. <laughs> but too late to back out now, you fucker. I love that. Um, yeah, okay, we'll just beat the shit out of him and everything is fine. But, um, yeah, I just think it's funny because it's like, people are getting upset about it. And it's like, motherfucker, I already have it on PC. <laughs> and I was really upset because the only reason I was like anywhere near upset, I was like, oh, fuck, I bought that for like 40 bucks. Could have had it for free. Uh, I do need to like play that game again, but it's been a bit hard for me to get back into it. They missed? Okay. Uh, just bat breaker it, honestly. Um, yeah. I don't understand, like, Sony players. I guess it's really Sony is the one that does it, because Xbox puts all their games on PC immediately. But they're like, they get upset when games go on PC. Why? Like, I don't, I, I can't wrap my head around it. Genuinely. Because it's, it's such a stupid ideology. Uh, is this where we'll find Bleach Japan? I guess he lights on the second floor. Someone's in there. Yo. Who knows who's waiting for us in there? Let's be careful. And then she shows up. Love <laughs> she shows up every time afterwards. Uh, there's a vending machine at least, so we can use that. Mm -hmm. Fair plate, that's fine. Vending machine. We want uh, boost. None of these uh do what I was hoping, which was give me more health. Can I find another vending machine? There is no other vending machine around. Wait, 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 wait. There's no fucking vending machine. Shit, that's fine. Ow, fuck! Ow. Fuck you. Shouldn't hit me with a fucking car. Uh, what is this place? This is a restaurant. Wait, is it? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Fuck. God damn it. I want to open the safe. Shit. Let me open the fucking safe. Should there we go. It? Sweet. Cotton pouch. Oh, wait, shit. Isn't that, like, good for someone? I can't remember who it's good for. Not him. Buy one of the girls. Not you. Not you. Okay. Well, moving on. <laughs> you have food. Get food. Let's hop for this building real quick. Uh, okay. I'm missing... Okay, the only thing I miss about Nanba is the fact that every eating always ended with, ah, tasty. And now it doesn't do that. The only thing I miss about Nanba. Otherwise, I don't give a shit about Nanba. Top floor. Am I at the top floor? Okay. I'm here. Open the door. Silver Clan Crest. Is this not top floor? Was that it? Okay, I'm sure that was it. Not really. Um, excuse me. Yeah, this is like literally... Oh, wait, no. There's a fucking elevator. I'm stupid. Let's just do top to three floor. Why not? Oh, shit. We're here. I didn't even fucking realize it's the same place. It's the cat. Hello. Elegatos. Los gatos. I remember thinking this last time I was here, but this office has a ton of cats, huh? They were all strays, actually. We found them abandoned and weak, and because we kept taking them in, well, here we are. Tree and also kind of say, here's Das, too. Look at how healthy they are now. Yeah, man, people are risking animals are heroes, too. They look pretty grateful. 
I like to think so. I can't imagine life without cats. If it means protecting them, I would even become an anti-hero. I hear anti-heroes are pretty popular now anyway. Huh. Do I respond to this? I feel that. You're welcome here anytime, so feel free to get your fill of the kitties. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. There's so many fucking cats. There are so many. Can we pet all of them? I need to know. I need to know. Pet. 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 Okay. Well, I'm here now. I knocked over a lot of things. That's fine. All right. Out of here. Let's go finish this bit. But, um, yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm always like, if you like games, you should let, or you should be excited when more people get to play them. This is my voice. God damn it. The fucking phone. Hello? Is this Kaskasan? san Uh, yeah, what's up? Here's on. It's the cats. You have to help me find them. Huh? The cats are in your office? Yes, I'm afraid so. They escaped through the broken office door while I was on the phone with the vendor. I'm worried sick about them. I don't look for them myself, but I have to stay here in case they can find their way back to the office. That's where you come in, Kaskasan. san This is the official quest of you. To find my cats. You'll be generously compensated, so... So please, please find me. It's, if it's an official request, what choice do I have? I guess I'll gather them up and get them back to your office. Thank you, Kaskasan. san There are nine cats total. Should be easy, you know? So there's just nine cats loose in the game now. Good. We'll find them. Guess I'm a cat catcher now. <laughs> okay, this time don't get it by a car. 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 And we're good. Wow. Oh, shit. Wow. Namba? Nope, it's this dude. Fuck. If he's gonna fight us. Do you know what time it is? Is it more than I? Really? Oh fuck. Uh, hello to you too. Kume san, right? <laughs> Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. Did you? How did you know? <laughs> Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. <laughs> what the fuck is that? We gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Meng assassins. Out. Him, <laughs> Liu Meng, not Komiju. Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup. Oh, they're gonna fucking kill us. I see. And you have business. Oh God damn it! They're gonna try and fight us. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. Well, we're gonna kill them. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh God, I hate him. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasa Warai. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. I wonder but why. Still, Maybe because they're I getting bribed the fuck out of find this. Counterfeiting legal currency. Oh, god damn it, Nanba. So Nanba spilled the beans, huh? Fucking Nanba. You guys need to get out of here. You're not yeah. supposed to open your goddamn yeah, mouth when you have secrets about any us. fucking mafia. That includes you, Namba. You fucking idiot. Was this your plan all along? Mm -hmm. Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumon are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. Well, now you just told them all as well. Civilian or not. Ogasawara-san, I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. <laughs> He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No, I think he's telling the truth. There we go. Someone has a brain in this room. To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. <laughs> um, I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? No. <laughs> Dear, dear Kumekun, you have so much to learn about these criminals. Okay, I'm starting to like him now. Ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eugene Show arm of Bleach Japan. Oh, God. That's. Uh. Ogasawara san. What are you getting at? <laughs> no kidding. You sure you're a civilian? Oh, he's definitely not. <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. <laughs> what is with this guy? <laughs> I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma. Lao Ma. Great. Well, he's involved again. Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. Does he work for Bleach Japan now? Customer satisfaction guaranteed. 
That seems to be the accurate way. Let's go. Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. God damn it, Nanba. Just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive. That soul patch. <laughs> the soul. It protects the soul. I fucking hate facial hair so much. Soul patch is one of the fucking worst things. And like if you have like the only guys have like goatees, it's a little better. But like God, this just a soul patch. See your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> that said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomia. Oh right, fuck! I forgot about Nonomia. I'll be honest, completely forgot that this guy had a that guy killed. Oh, he's got a fucking... What is that called? I don't remember what that's called, but it's a cool thing. Let's use this. I'm glad I fucking leveled a little bit, but because these guys are level 24 and we're level 20, so it's going to be rough. Just fucking beat them up. Oh, yeah, the music! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, they do very little damage. Shit. Okay, they actually do a good bit of damage. Uh, let's see. Let's try and charm them. What the fuck? Where did that spear come from? He just steals it. It come from... You don't want to ask where it comes from. I think it's a Guanadao. A Guanadao? What the fuck is that? I've never heard of that. There we go. Knock them all over and throw them away. I love that move so much. There we go. Block it. Bop. Bop. That did absolutely fucking nothing. Hey, but Adachi followed up. So that's at least something. Uh, this guy. Bop. Bap. Yeah, we should be able to kill one of this turn. Type of Chinese pole arm. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay, I forget the Yokohama Luomang is the Chinese one. Yeah, so Seryu is Japanese, Yokohama is Chinese, and Gomi Jewel is Korean, if I remember. That's such a cool weapon. Akira Mabuchi, Yokohama Lieutenant Linguist, I think. Statue of Guan Yu. It's a legendary Chinese weapon. I was gonna say the name of it. So Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes. <laughs> if he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick. <laughs> I like that. Okay, uh, let's do. Let's see. Let's do Joker juggling. Joker juggling is really fucking good. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Wow. Something good. Okay, it was the bad one. God damn it. That one doesn't give fire damage. Oh, he has got a lot of fucking health. We might have some trouble here. Uh, Batbreaker, please. Do something big. Knock him over. Follow up. Okay, that did very little. Petal Blossom. Kick! Blocked it. Oh, fucking defense fell. Shit. Uh, have an explosive. <laughs> I love we're just fighting in office, by the way. I kind of forgot about that. This game loves giving them to the Chinese bosses, so it might be another case of asset recycling. That might be accurate. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's getting the shit kicked out of her. Okay, let's just knock him down again. He's level 25. We should have grinded a little bit more, but it's fine. Uh, let's actually do... She or... I kind of want to... Yeah, I kind of want to do this to myself. There we go. Heal herself a little bit. Yeah, she's got so much better healing. Resolute counter. No one's attacking you. Alright, guard. We'll just guard. If you're gonna counter, we'll just guard. There we go. And now I can hit the shit out of you. Bop. Go for it. There we go. Just get some mana back if we can. Shit! I love how they just completely knock her fucking over. All right, card sharp. Is this going to be weakness? Throw a good one. Joker, that's a 10. Yeah, they're weak to fillets. Okay, it's good to know. Um, are they weak to this? No. Let's just fucking... Bop. Bop. That's fine. There we go. Okay, go for Bat Breaker on him. There we go. We're getting good damage. We're getting good damage. Go for that. Okay, card sharp again. This works. Fun kick. Ace! There we go. 120. That's what we're looking for. Blocked. Get fucked. Uh, have an explosive. 
Because fuck you. I hate you. It missed. It missed with the damage. Somehow. I don't know how. The Falcon kick. Ba he actually... No, he's literally Falcon kicking. I didn't even pick up on that. Bop. Just a little... Just a little... Just a little bop. Have another card. Ace, 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 Joker, ace, Joker, ace, Joker. Joker! 178. Fuck yeah. Crimson Aura. Attack Rose. She's getting serious now. Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? <laughs> That's your gamer brain talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. That's your gamer brain talking again. Let's just deal with him. I forgot. Is Dupress even on sale anymore? I kind of forgot. Uh, pump. Push your defense, like tongue. Healthy routine. No. Or you just the allies. No, we kind of just have to hit him. Just a bop. Bop. Oh, he gets attacked now. Dragon Breaker. Oh my god, did a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Shit's going bad. Shit's going real bad. Bop. Okay, we're gonna need a card sharp here. No more on sale. Okay, then I will fix that thing later. Uh, we're gonna need some health, please. Magical Song. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, it is totally worth having a fucking idol because she just heals so fucking much. Christ. Petal Blossom Kick. Ow, fuck. <laughs> okay, card sharp. Joker, 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 Joker. Ace, that works too. That works too. That's fine. Also, the difference in that damage between Joker and Ace is kind of negligible. Uh, Actually, just do damage. You don't really... Yeah, you don't need anything else. Ooh, and Dachi Dach Dach follows up. Perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Dragon Breaker. Oh, I already started bleeding. Uh, shit. Bleeds profusely. Let's get you. Inspire. First allies evasion. Shine your smartphone. May lower their. <sighs> shit. Might be good to do that, but we kind of want to keep using card sharp. 10. That works. 96. Okay. Pedal Blossom Kick. No. Ow. Oh, yeah, he's down. Fuck. Uh, Heroes Vigor, please. Get the fuck up. Darts are probably better for DPT, even if we were just bullets. What does DPT mean? Oh, right. I forget. They do uh, they do multiple hits. Remain on phase. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Try Smash Step, because we, if we can charm him. I don't think we can here, but we're going to try it. And he's weak to it, too, so that's good. Ow. Okay, shit. Bleeding for you sleep. There, you're fine. Everyone bleeds just a little bit sometimes. Especially when you get stabbed by that thing. So much blood. Joker! There we go. Dragon Breaker. Oh, no, no, no. Damage return instead of damage per second. Oh, I see. Woo, she is hurt as shit. I think she goes next, right? So we can heal everyone with that. Yep. Uh, magical Song, please. We need some fucking health. That heal her? It does. Okay, perfect. Pedal Blossom Kick. Ow. It's fine. Airy. Okay, I don't have enough to do a Shark Strike anyways. So, Card Sharp. Joker. There we go. Pedal Blossom Kick. Okay, we're doing fine. Yeah, we don't have any fucking mana now, so we can just bounce them a little bit. And then, uh, you still have something. Enemy Silence. Let's try this. There we go. That's good damage. Oh, you just smacked. Okay. Honestly, just hit him. We'll be fine. Bop. Boom. There we go. I dodged his dead on the ground, but we killed the man. Um. Oh, wow. He did not level up at all because of that. But everyone got stronger, so that's at least something. Fuck that guy. You can still talk. Great. Oh, well, now you probably broke his nose. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him. Why is that a question anymore? He's like admitted to it so many times. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, 
I was just following orders. <laughs> Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you were just allowed to escape. Nanba? Director of Fleet oh, never mind. Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya. Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after. Great. Jincho itself. What's he on about? So supposed he's morale bad. good guys are of he course wants evil. To expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny now, kid. <laughs> Just, you piece of shit. <laughs> just like lean in. The most passionate kiss. He's just like, man, these Yakuza games really got off the rails. Uh, kind of, but of course they're evil. They're the, they're goody two shoes. Why do something that would turn the E Gene three against you? Uh, why the fuck not? <laughs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin Three. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. What invasion? Are they fucking aliens now? Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> oh, he's gonna say the Omi Alliance. Omi Alliance. Omi Alliance. Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Fleet Japan. Yup, new as Omi. Are the only alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. D oh, I'll right. Sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I got. There we go. Don't ever compare yourself to Harakawa-san again. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> no, he's not. But fuck. Wish he was. Did fuck that guy. Of coming here? Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Where the fuck is he? Well, he and Namba went into that back room over there. And there's a back door there, so we're going to have to deal with that. Let's go find him. <laughs> They're not going to be there. There's definitely a back door if they... Oh, or not. Ogasawara's gone. Yep. Okay, no, I was right. Further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is going to blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Komi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Mon-chan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. <laughs> Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichima. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man. Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You've got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're in yeah, they're probably gonna just gonna kill us all. That's your chance to slip away. You get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up. <laughs> think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know, but I need their help to find my brother. <laughs> god damn it i'm starting to really hate non i already didn't like non very much but god damn it want to stop me go for it hell attack me from behind i don't care but non is becoming mean and rude and evil and i want to kill him now we're still buds oh don't say that shit <laughs> hey, I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's yeah, there's kind of an invasion back. tomorrow, and Searching gotta find that one dude happens. as well, so... I think it's back there. A little bit this more important shit. A chance. No one's around. I love yeah. how he's still in that fucking right. eyeballs fucking open as shit face. So good. 
Oh, yeah, and she's here, too. I actually helped with that fight. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, she's not an official party member. She's a side party member. So the game just ignores that she exists sometimes, which is fine. Who the fuck is that? Founders of Police Japan. Oh, is one of them his brother? Oh, oh one of them is Nando's brother. That makes sense. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? <laughs> the guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Rio Alcon. Oh, never mind. Rio Alcon. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. Wait, what? Huh? What do you mean he's supposed to be dead? Wait, hang on. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Wait. Who is he? You know Rio Aoki? Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on a second. What? A young master. His name is Masato Arakawa. Um, okay, fuck. Sir, during next week's budget deliberations, okay. the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. Those fossils pushing for highway funding. Oh, it's the same voice actually. Yep, Sounds same like dude. Strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it then. <laughs> mustache. Wouldn't it look bad? He does he have a mustache? I'm sure those parents have spared no oh, yeah, the other making one, sure yeah. their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? How Just could you so fucking so see that as the same dude? Because I could not... Maybe I, I could not see that other... Or the young master as him... Possibly because he was standing up. You know what? That might do it. Why don't you call it a night? Although now he's Good sitting down. Then. Maybe he still has his legs fucked, but he uh, he's taking that over the or the overseas fucking injections to make sure he can walk again. Good news, I hope. Brother in Christ, they basically grew up together. The party chairs. Oh, I guess you're right, actually. Turns out it was on the other side of the great. I kind of forgot about that. This whole time. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well staffed in Tokyo. Oh, he's in Tokyo now. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Is Tokyo like the capital of Japan? I didn't. I never knew that. I actually now I'm saying that I probably knew that. That yes, I know that definitely. It's totally the capital. I really hope it's the capital now because I just went both ways on that, and I'm not sure which one's the right answer. And I'm I'm settled on it is the capital, because he's in a really big building. I was gonna say they only build really big buildings and capitals, and I realized like the biggest building in America is in like New York, and that is definitely not the fucking capital. Two chapters done. Fuck yeah, that is pretty good for us today. Now we're in, what is this? Oh, House of Cards. Okay, I thought it was just going to stay in the kanji. Like, get fucked. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, that's not happening. <laughs> Alright, we'll see this plot hook, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. This probably has some juicy details. Hmm. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age. Yeah, the fucking, that one dude was like, yeah, didn't he have health problems? Yeah, well, he probably died, right? <laughs> Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. 
Then he suddenly took off for America. Uh, that's somewhat he took accurate. Political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Yakuza Punk 2077. Yeah, Jesus, that'd be yeah. funny. That'd be cool, actually. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. <laughs> Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. And he was on magazine covers, and on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. Huh. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Mm. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly. But now his approval rating 80%. is... 80%? Fuck, that's like... Plus, that is like no high... Interest. Like, like that is like fictional high. If Uncle that makes sense. Say he has another name. That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. I mean, yeah, when your father is but the dude who is like the biggest guy in the Omi Alliance, he can probably like, you know, cover that up a little bit. Yeah. Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. Yeah, with the that fucking Omi Alliance. That destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Yeah. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Aww. Wait, is that yeah. fucking... I mean, they probably is that fled the Ma city out of Ma panic. Ma Ma they Ma 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 I don't remember his name. I know, I remember the guy all the way on the right, but I can't remember his name either. Mashima, where it is. Violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. From left to right, Majima, it was more uh, Tojo Daigo Tojo. Dojima, it and Saijima. Saijima is the one I remember. And yeah, it's Majima. Okay, I figured that was. Masumi Arakawa. Do you think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Of course, he's his son. And it's all in the family. Exactly. Fucking, they get it somewhat. Exactly. Also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Jesus. To his son than he was to the Tojo oh my god, they're using Sony phones. Lol, <laughs> wait, really? Men, yes, but not Arakawa Sony has phones? You say so. Why does Sony yeah, have phones? My theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Fair. Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <laughs> Governor really the young master? If so, how did he do it? Oh, that just appeared so quickly. I didn't press a single thing. One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. <laughs> oh, maybe he bought a family register. Huh? You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you Wait, really? Oh shit. Copy up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. You can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. <laughs> well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. That sounds Masato accurate. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money. They're like Yakuza! Money. Don't you think, Kasuga? The <gasps> master would have had the money and connections to do it. So, yeah, I can see it. <sighs> Every time it's like, how would he, go to all how would he do that? And it's like, his, his dad is the fucking leader of the Omi oh, goddamn he alliance. A politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban. Who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. <laughs> my senpai. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. <laughs> like every time, it's like, how could they do that? They're fucking yakuza. Hold on, hold the hell on. 
How is Aki walking? Does he not need a wheelchair anymore? No, remember, he has that drug he can step around with. What? He used that one time. The young master couldn't walk. He used the wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? <laughs> well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. I mean, yeah, they No, the, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available. I love that. That's how that goes when in the U.S. it's like you got to go somewhere else always to get some yeah, weird he shit. Looks like there's a stick up his ass. Hey, get it, do Police commissioner, <laughs> Orinochi. Oh, Remember him? Eternal rival. <laughs> the dude at the fucking cabaret club that one time. I think I've seen him before. Yeah, the cabaret what? club that one time. Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, when was it? The cabaret club that one time. There he is at that cabaret club that one time. <laughs> Saw him at the cabaret club. Yeah, you got it. Good job, uh, Ichiban. Good job. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. Awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. At least I got it right. Kamrocha's looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. Yeah. But I can't really I like put it together case. yet. Confusing ass mess. <laughs> well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. I agree. I'm tired. I still have so much to do today, but I'm really tired. I'm gonna eat something. It is an, a, a cinnamon crunch bagel from Panera. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. <laughs> Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. We can just right. sleep here. Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about? Are we getting a new room? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. Oh sweet, so we have a place to live in. Ah, <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> what room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Are we gonna get a room that isn't filled with beds that people have been having right sex now. on all day? I asked if we could use it as a hideout. <laughs> I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was uh, getting kind of cramped. Yeah, that here makes we'll sense. Room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. <laughs> Now's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but you sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah, whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I love him so much. I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. I think he's my favorite character, well, and that is definitely not a coincidence that he is voiced by David Hayter. Room to a hero and his party. <laughs> wow, dude. Thanks. We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink. I don't think we have to do much to do that already. <laughs> You don't like my jokes. You can forget about using the room. <laughs> Damn. The U.S. surgery thing checks out more often than not. You have to leave the country for niche cosmetic surgery, less than life-saving surgery. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I know nothing about surgery. I'm a computer virus. I barely even know what bits are in the human. Just gonna see how the town's dealing with the threat of an Omi Alliance invasion. But karaoke, though. <laughs> Step right back in for the karaoke. All right, all right. So we did uh, we did two chapters here today. I think that's pretty good. Let's see how far we can get tomorrow. But, um, oh, I take two steps on a call. Or not tomorrow, Wednesday. I keep forgetting that's yeah. the then. Uh, hello, Kasan. What's wrong? Some of y'all came by looking for you. Guy named Totsuka from the Seiryu clan. Totsuka? How do you look? A little bunch of his boys with them. I think they're going to the bar to bar asking about you. I still clear my place for a bit. Gotta go. Wait, hello, Kasan. Well, go. We have another house. The Survivor Bar. We just literally... We live there and drink there and everything. What'd she say? Tuska's apparently out searching for us, so she says we need should stay away from her shop. But I thought Tuska okay. was... Yeah, but I thought the Siri, uh, yeah, but Siri Clan came down hard on him for the whole retirement home scam. Which means we should probably go see for ourselves. Even though she literally just told us to stay away. <laughs> You're almost stay behind if you want. Your ass. I'm going too. Okay. 
All right. Uh, what I was saying is that should be hopefully the end of our stream today. Uh, we stream for about an hour and a half. Uh, about an hour and 45. Uh, but I also think this is probably a good stopping point because I don't have very much time left in the stream. And we've gone through two chapters and got through these hook of the first, the second chapter. So, Kayla has subscribed for 14 months. Thank you. <laughs> Real quick for the end. I appreciate it. <sighs> One of the few fucking notifications that actually works and doesn't get cut off. But yeah, I will have to go. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel bad about it now, but I do have to go. We gotta, we gotta get some shit done. I gotta eat in a minute and then I gotta stream. But, um, but yeah. So, tomorrow we are streaming Midnight Fight Night. Midnight, wait, hang on. Fuck, what's it called? Midnight Fight Night Express, some shit like that. And then Thursday, we're doing more Yakuza. And then Friday, we're doing cooking. No, front Friday. No, fuck, hang on. Shit. Wednesday, we're doing more Yakuza. Thursday, we're doing um, Cooking Simulator. Because um, I ran out of things to do. And that's on Game Pass right now. So, that's what we're doing. Yeah, for now. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see some new shit for me, the uh, the Rumbleverse VOD from uh, a couple days ago just dropped. We're going to go watch that. Uh, we've also always got a new clip for you. Or we got the uh, the clip of our little, I think it should do the fucking Ultra Kill one, if it works. But yeah, that should be it. I have a package to go grab. So for now, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow, same time. And most importantly, ahem. Wah.